Another cold blast from the Arctic brings flight after flight of birds from the north, while the unwelcome moisture creates more havoc with the afternoon hunts. Mel gets stress spotting because he has too many birds on his hunt. He's always stressing over something. I take a group hunting in the sleet to cap off a great day before the snow starts to accumulate, and Daryl's hunt goes sideways in a hurry, but we react fast to salvage the morning hunt. We got it done. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Oh man, is there a lot up on that hill. Holy smokes. I got a huge combo. I got snows, snow specks, lessers, a few honkers, and lots of ducks. I don't know how big it is, but oh, it's got to be 5,000 plus. Jeff's got the other target at straight honkers. But we've got one wicked cold front in here right now. And we had one last week, and, and we've seen a push like we've never seen before with the snow geese. I mean, I don't even think we got all the specks down yet, and we're starting to see the white guys, so, which is October stuff. I mean, I hope this isn't a sign of what's gonna happen. We could run out of birds by the middle of October, you know, like if, if that pushes on, we get enough cold fronts. The weather this year is un unbelievably different, so who knows, we'll see. We'll have something to hunt, but might not be as many as we usually have. Oh well, put on the November gear and go hunting. Awesome you stuff. You're the best, Claudio. Hey. Am I ready? Are you ready? When we get here, best it's way. like coming home. Good. Ninth year straight. Hopefully nine more in a row. And there is no better hunting experience than on Garo's and Elbow. Look at that. You're my official <laughs> spokesperson. <laughs> it's so cold, my mouth's not even working right now. We're cold. Yeah? Last year, epic. It wasn't even good. It was epic. What about 40, the first 40, year? 40 40 every day. Really? Last year? 40 40 every day. See, that's why you're my best friend. No, we were? I can't remember. My Labrador did 206 retrieves in two and a half days. Unbelievable. That's solid. No, no charge Thanks for the dog you. workout. No, to no charge. <laughs> no, charge. No, no retrieving charge. That's right, that's right. <laughs> cool. Starting off tomorrow with a couple really big hunts. We've had a real strong north wind and a nasty cold front roll through. Like, I mean, it's, it's gonna be below freezing, potential snow accumulation tomorrow. So it's a bit of a game changer here. It's cold and miserable, but we've got some great hunts and, and I'm going spot. They've been coming in now for the last hour in gobs of 100 to 200, who, who would know? I'm not even sure anymore. There's got to be, I don't know, two, three, four thousand ducks. I don't know. Lots. Way more than we need, I know that. There's so many, it, it, it kind of freaks you out, but I, I, pretty, I, I got a game plan, I think, where I'm going to set up, so. It's, it's constant, constant. It's like the ducks are feeding late. There's another flight behind them. Wow. Biggest hunt I've had so far this year. Better make hay while the sun shines, you know. Hey, buddy. Th this thing just grew by about 3,000 ducks in the last oh, yeah. half an hour. That's a good thing. And, a, well, a gazillion more specks. I'm kind of targeting this flat out here. Mm -hmm. There's lots on the on the hill behind it. You can see them filtering that way. You so can, what's the issues? Too many birds? 
Yeah, too many birds. <laughs> big problems. <laughs> big problems. Yeah, this, this thing. Biggest hunt so far. This thing's big a big problems. This thing's a monster. So one in the bag. Jeff's good to go too. We're good. Good. Stress free. Stress free night. For the first time this season, almost. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go check the back of hunt just in case something goes wrong, completely so. Shouldn't be a problem, but whatever. We'll just yeah, make sure. Yeah. All righty. Okay. I'll talk to you back at camp. You betcha. Bye, Getting ready, guys. They'll be out front. Go, 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 go! Good shot. Okay, get ready, guys. Kill those two! Definitely was on there. Dumped them. Oh, they're in there. They're all in there. So they just moved from last night, but they're definitely all there and accounted for. It's big. So we'll see how the boys do this morning and then see if we have, uh, if we really trip this morning and have a bad one, then maybe phone on this as a combo for tonight. Because it's big. I mean, it's we're out here about an hour away from the lodge, but with the amount of birds I'm looking at, it looks like it would be well worth our our trip. Wow, they're thick in there. Lots of ducks, some snows, specks, and it's early yet too. Wow. Good hunt. Off the phone on it, I think. Here's a whole flight. Let them come around unless they get right down. Can you get ready? Go, 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 go! I got two. Oh, I got oh, two. Two shots, two ducks. Oh, dude. I got two. Look at these guys. Kettle up. Kettle up. Kettle up. Kettle up. Kettle up. Duck down, guys. Duck down. I got three of them. <laughs> I hit that one. <laughs> <laughs> three for three, baby! <laughs> okay, this time, guys. Go, 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 go! Oh, you got three. You got all four. Wait, so you look. That just went dead. Way out there. You Way see out it? there, yeah. Okay, I got him marked. Who, who got that? Kill him! No! Oh, so I got, got two of them. We're, We're done. I, 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 got got We're done. I got the first one and that last one. Yeah. Right. Good. <laughs> I got the double there. No question about it. No question. Good job, boy. Here you go. We ended up with. 40 ducks and uh, 14 geese. So it actually wasn't bad for the way it started. I thought we were in big trouble just because of what was going on. Over half of them came, but most of them stacked up on the other end of the field. For whatever reason, I don't know, they all fed here last night, but 
that's hunting and sometimes that's what specs do to you. So yeah, the ducks did it really good, the geese not so much, but overall, 50 some bird morning, nothing wrong with that. All right, buddy. All right, we'll bye-bye. Yeah, bye. Okay, bye. So, Brad didn't get a big combo, and with the weather, the landowners are actually going on hunting on Saturday, and that happens, you know, can't get them all. And so, I'm backing up Jeff's guys. There's some ducks and specks and snows in here, so we're gonna forego the, duck, the geese. Uh, this, this is a marginal goose hunt. Uh, with, enough, with enough ducks on it, I think we can kill 40, so. I need to sneak over the hill. We're probably less than 100 yards from a bunch of birds in that cattail rim slough. And they're, the ducks are day roosting, so we're gonna, I wanna peek, and normally I do it alone, I'd be very, very quiet. But now I wanna show Paul. My favorite customer. My favorite customer of what we do when we spot and button up hunts, and that's really, it's really cool. It's, it's the fun part, the hunting part's the easy part. This is the fun stuff, so I need to get an inventory on the ducks. So I'm gonna peek over, see how many are in there, and hopefully not blow them up, which we're gonna do in a little while anyways. Let's go look. I hear the cabins here, but there's, a, there's cattails right, right, right here. There's the water. Let's put your head up and see on the far edge. Probably stacked right into this corner. Yeah, there they go, there they go. What they'll do on a day like today is they'll just trade back and forth all day, right? The, 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 the risky part is this, so, the geese want to be in the feed, right? So if we come in in a little bit and kick them out and they don't go back to the water, let's say they wheel around and go to the other end of the field, well then the ducks start wheeling. It's hard to compete with that much life. So I mean, they should come for a look. And, and with stuff. risk comes reward. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? If we don't try it, you're not going to kill any, so we're going to go hunt. Right. I'd much rather be here than in that car again all afternoon. That's right, you got to go for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're going to go for it. No, this is beautiful. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. And it's go close. For it. It's Let's close. It. That means you'll be having cocktails early tonight. Let's do it. <laughs> we got some specks, some snows, some ducks, some blessers, some snow. <laughs> September. Yeah, Claudio's out right now with the guys. Uh, he's finishing off a duck limit. I think they're shooting a few snows as well. And uh, we're targeting this one for tomorrow. This hilltop back there, it's been covered in birds all night and this morning. Um, there's a few other feeds going on really close to this, but uh, it shouldn't affect anything. They, they want to be back on that hilltop there. Uh, and it looks really good. Just big, big numbers too. Has all the, the makings to be a good hunt nice and close to the lodge, like five minutes down the road. Seems too perfect, but the big downside of this field is it's, uh, there's no vehicle access, so we either have to walk in or we're allowed to take the, uh, the ranger in there, but uh, if we take silo socks and plan the rig properly, we can get it done. It's not, uh, won't be too complicated. Yeah, there's loads of them down there. Two big pods of them. We've had permission down there. And then uh, they actually bumped into this field tonight and we got permission on this one. So we're gonna hunt here. And now that I'm coming in to pin this, a tractor just rolled up through the edge of the field and kind of pushed what was here out. It's a little early, still a bit of daylight. And once I got in here to pin it, I could see down there and there's a pile of birds down there. Might have to race over there really quick and uh, get up on the ground, walk in there and see what's going on. There's a lot of birds there. There's specks and snows, but uh, man, I, this is a great spot to hunt though. Minus this dog that's about to eat my legs off. <laughs> hey, submissive dog. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Here, good boy. There's duck feathers up through here and everything. Right here. <laughs> There's lots of duck trails coming out of this pothole here. Through the tall grass and out in here, they've been feeding all through here. 
either one should be a great option for the morning, but uh, I'll run it past the guys and they're both pinned. We've got uh, everything in place to hunt both. Permissions, pins in the ground, pins on the phone, no birds on the water, everything set up perfect to hunt them. So we'll just uh, talk with the guys and get everyone's opinion on them and then pick one. We had, we had a good hunt. The weather played a few tricks on us. The ducks played a few tricks on us. Ended up with 11 geese, banged out 34, mallard and sprig. And at the end of the day, we finished out with, you know, 36 ducks, 30 geese. Pretty awesome day, considering all factors. And he had a great guide. The guide was incredible. That's not what I heard he all night. He can call, though. he knows when to call the shot. He set us up perfectly. The end of a great day with my dear friend Claudio. Yeah, except for all night there, just give me a hard time. Quit calling, get off sure the phone. We <laughs> get Why off didn't the you phone. call those? They're close enough. Those are too far. <laughs> Good. We, only, we oh. only give crap to the ones we love. Aww. It turned out great. Oh, that was so much fun. Hey, we had a blast today. Good one. Yeah, he doesn't like people driving in the field, so we're using the 6x6 today. Uh, nothing wrong with it, it just takes a little bit extra time and a bigger trailer. But uh, we got a little bit of a haul to get out there and uh, run out of time, so we're going to get to work here. And we ended up in this barley field that we were looking down on from that pea field. We talked with the guys and we all thought this was the best option, you know. A lot of birds right here. and. Uh, the ducks are going to hit this puddle behind us, but we'll be able to pull them into the field here and kill them. Should be a lot of fun, just a big combo, every, every type of waterfowl coming in, and uh, hopefully a lot of shooting. What do you think? Hopefully they shoot shooting? some birds right away. Are they shooting? He shot a couple. What a mess. See, he's got some birds. And now they're all riled, because obviously the roost got rocked. Well, hopefully they settle settle in. I'll text the boys to scramble the jets. All right. Okay, see you. Okay, bye, Barb. Bye. See you. We're, we're watching Daryl, and what happened is there's, there is another hunt going on, and that must have rocked the roost where the birds were, I mean, some other guys hunting and they just shot and the birds are all up. So it's all, there's birds up in the air everywhere right now. So some will probably just leave. They got the right wind and it's the right conditions. I saw some V up and they'll go. But uh, hopefully, hopefully Daryl will get some action. See what happens. He should, they've been using this field for three or four days. So really he needs 25 dumb specs to just go, oh, let's go back in and, and do it some snows and, and 40 ducks. So. And the ducks, the ducks won't take off. They'll just, they'll keep milling around. He's in a good spot, so hopefully it works. So something happened on our roost this morning. Everything came at once. Heard a couple shots that direction. Who knows what could have happened. Uh, birds aren't making it to us now, but now we've got the opportunity that the ducks are starting to day roost in this pond right behind us. So we're gonna put these mojos out there and try to salvage what's left of this hunt. Daryl, okay, I, I'm over at Carl and Cheryl's, which is Deadsville up here. But yeah, I can, uh, I'll go throw three bricks in the black truck and, or in the blue truck and race over there. How's that? Sure. And I'll grab you a long post in your waders. Where are your waders? In the, in the shop. Okay. All right, I'll text as I get close. Bye. All right, we're gonna make it happen. If it works, woo, that's getting it done right there. All right, that'll, that'll do. I'm just leaving the lodge. I'll be there in about five and a half minutes. 
Okay, I'm at the road here. Okay, I got you. Three bricks of decoys, waders, and two uh, poles. Good way to save the day. Ducks on the left. One right behind the third one. You can get that one. Come on, buddy. Over here, Gander. Come on. Oh, it was a grind this morning. We got uh, a few roost issues. It's Friday morning. Somebody got in there and uh, it seemed like they pushed the birds out of the roost at first light. The specks all came from their roost at once. They stayed up really high like they'd been messed around with. And then the snows came in all in one big bunch again. Gave us one good pass. We got a couple and uh, we jumped in the pothole and we scraped up just uh, under a limit of ducks. And uh, the guys picked up another hunt for tonight get these guys out to finish off their limit. They look tired. I'll give Paul a hard time. You couldn't shoot 40 ducks by 9 o'clock. What? I said you couldn't shoot 40 ducks by 9, you had to mess around. Come on. We like the out of doors. This is, we like the experience. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Bit of a gong show this morning, eh? It's fun. I'm glad you call that fun. We call it stress. We call it stress. That was great. We had a good time. We had a lot of fun. Paul, did you like that? <laughs> it was a blast. It was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I missed my aerobic exercise this week, so we yeah. put out a lemon. We made up for it. Yeah. That was good. Well, it's good. Could have been, been worse. Could have been way worse. <laughs>